You're acting like I owe you an apology. Knock yourself out. You were an assignment. You're a big boy. You knew what you were doing. I can see it's really been eating at you. An MI6 case officer takes a strange girl from an embassy party back to his hotel room where he has an unsecured briefcase full of Egyptian air defense codes. Did they tell you to sleep with me? I needed the codes. I thought the less time I spent with you, the better. Oh, Jesus. How did you get on this project? You're the mole. Who the hell hired you, anyway? I can't believe it. How did you get this job? I got news for you, okay? The day I left MI6, I had 15 major companies begging for my services. Well, I guess you picked wrong, but you must be used to that. You know, I've got a meeting in 12 minutes. Where's the drop? Hand it over. Forget it, I'm not working with you. Excuse me? You think I'm gonna let you be my contact officer? This is way over your head. Over my head? Lady, I worked to Yemen, Athens, and Cairo. I've been promoted and decorated every place I served. Tell Duke to send someone else. Listen, I'm sure you know your way around a shoe store, but I did 12 years in the field. And how long have you been working for Equicron? Long enough. How long? Three weeks. Three whole weeks? Like every day? Well, I've spent the last 14 months undercover inside Birkin and Randall. I'm an assistant director of counterintelligence. I am all the way in. So let's get this straight. I'm the asset here, you're a delivery boy. And the only thing I'm gonna give you is a message. Tell Duke I don't ever wanna see you again. I run field agents for a living. There's only two ways to do it. Either you bring them flowers or you hang them by their heels out of the window. Now, maybe you're so used to having your legs in the air you don't realize it, but you're upside down, sister. I own you. You have 10 seconds to get your hand off me. Or what, you won't be my friend anymore. I like this gig. I like the money, I like the hours, so I'm not going anywhere and you're going to get over it. Because if you ever mention again that you don't want to work with me, or that we met before, or that you think someone else might do a better job, if I get replaced for any reason at all, I'm going to call those suckers over at Burkett and Randall and tell them they have an Equicrom spy in the heart of their security team. Be ashamed to let the last 14 months go down the drain, wouldn't you? So where's my package? Tell Duke this is the one he's been waiting for. You screw this up, I'll ruin your life. I thought you tried that already. You wanna take one last shot at that apology? 